Hello, Commanders. Uh, welcome to the newest episode of No Gin, No Win. In this episode, I'll be showcasing uh, another Suzette game versus Self on SkyMap. Uh, Self's team is composed of Rosen with a uh, Miracle Double Heal, Falnax, Christian, Standard Loadout, State Guard Lightbringer with Strengthen and Discipline, Falnax Jintoki with Air Slash. Uh, act again and the other single target well his main single target which is the 3c and we have burner with state guard 2 uh, with double bladed strike and rendering build I did get the guess right I ended up picking heavy inf Elwin Suzette with teleport uh, 3c and reload Sophia with uh, 3c rewind heal heavy inf Werner with pretty standard loadout and T Jess without the Attack buff. So, this game is very dependent on whether or not my Werner is able to kill his Werner or Jintoki first. And also be able to kill them in a spot such that when their DPS comes out to trade, my other DPS can kill. So yeah, just laying down the early AoE. The reason why I mentioned that I have to make sure that his DPS comes out to kill my Werner is because if any of those two tanks are guarding uh, the DPS that comes out to trade my Werner, I'm basically done for. Because it's going to be very hard to crack both tanks. So ideally, I should actually try to kill his Werner. Because his Werner has more range than the Jintoki in terms of being able to attack under guard, potentially. My Suzette is able to, I guess you can call it, suppress, laying down some suppressing fire to somewhat keep them at bay and not push as aggressively. Again, the main threat that the, he also sees is really the my Werner too. So let's just take a look at um, his Werner's range. I'm making sure that my other units are within range and it's only L1 that's within range. I am fishing for a Breeze proc from the Werner or a Tenuous proc. Tenuous proc here, Tenuous proc here. So both have the probability of getting a Tenuous proc. And I do get the Fabled tennis, tennis proc. So now my Werner's range. He has to, you know, either go retreat or try to kill because my Werner can reach his Werner and his Jin cannot kill my Werner without uh, coming out of guard range, which was what I was trying to allude to earlier. So but I'm actually able to tank the Elwin's. Uh, Initial, I mean, the Werner's initial attack. Again, I wasn't wearing SSM, so the fixed damage is going to go through. How much is fixed? Two times hero attack. I'm curious how much HP I have left. And he was using 3C, so that ignores a uh, class disadvantage. Okay, anyhow, so his Werner is in defense stance right now. Don't get the kill. Okay, so now he retreats back to safety. Uh, let's see, if I was him, was there a better play? Let me think. So his guards can't reach. My Werner can take him out. Uh... Yeah, I guess retreating is the best option here because if he moves up here with his tank, I can kill the Werner while still being relatively far from his uh, Jintoki. And I could also potentially wall, uh, you know, wall his Jintoki from being able to reach my Werner for the second kill on his Jintoki. 
Okay, so the retreat makes sense. And since he retreats, I retreat. Sorry, I okay, my bad. I attack. Sorry, I attack his burner because, again, if his Jintoki decides to come out, there are no tanks that could guard. Even if he decides to use air slash here, his tank is not guarding. I still have the threat of TGS with teleport. My L1 is probably not going to be able to kill the Jintoki, but TGS most likely will. So now he does the. Now he does the tank move. So I have to do something. So this is actually a good location for me because I can body block the Jin. What I mean by body block is because he, I want him to move to this spot. If he moves to this spot to hit my Werner, he's going to be out of guard range again. So I do, you know, quote unquote body block the Jin from being able to safely attack Werner within guard range. So he does, he decides to kill my L1 instead, which is good because, uh, now I have the ability to retreat with my Werner due to the synergy of double teleport. He does have turn priority, so I do have to make sure I get out of uh, Jintoki's way. Jintoki's range is the act again plus uh, plus this plus the single target attack, so I have to get Werner to safety. So I'm actually able to make a pretty nice play with uh, double teleports. By doing this, I am blocking out both uh, ways where uh, the Jintoki can come and decide to attack my uh, Werner. Again, if the Jintoki decides to kill TGS, my Werner can just blow up the Jintoki. So he retreats. My Werner cannot reach. My Werner also would not want to kill the Rosen because that would force an act again. If I do end up killing the Rosen, uh, let's see. I still have Rewind here, which is actually not that bad. But I do need a turn to set up into Attack Sense. And by that time, I think my other units would be dead. And I won't be able to basically pull off this, uh, what do you call it, blockade for Jin to reach my Werner. So Reload. I do the rewind now, and I get another lucky tenuous proc. Okay, so the rewind does let my rendering blow go up to get up and running if I decide to use the double blade of strike next turn, but I still have to get an attack stance, that is. However, my Light of Genesis TP is up, and as a result of this tenuous proc, I thought of doing a pretty, um, I don't know if it was actually a reckless play. But I was thinking of essentially teleporting Werner to a spot where he could utilize his Tenyo's proc and try to kill the uh, Jintoki. I thought about two options here. I could teleport uh, Werner either south or teleport him here and force the, the Lightbringer to try to kill uh, Werner with uh, his, uh, her uh, discipline skill. So the discipline skill probably won't kill the Warner, but it is gonna get the Warner low, and I didn't want to risk the chance of my Warner miskilling the Jintoki. So that was one thing. So T just teleport is seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight move on Warner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in my head. So, you, you mentioned earlier, I said there was two ways to teleport. Technically, there was only one way to teleport. I can only teleport a Werner into the this region up here. I can't teleport Werner here and still reach. I was under the assumption, the false assumption that I had the uh, uh, the extra reach of four range. I only had three range reach with double bladed strike. So, even if I did teleport here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, hold up. 
eight movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Seven block movement. Seven block teleport. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm starting here. Yeah, so Werner can get teleported here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I actually couldn't reach the Jintoki. But at that time, I actually thought I could reach the Jintoki. So I actually made a slight mistake here by doing that. I miscounted by one tile off. I really should have just tried a uh, what's it called um I should have just tried basically uh praying that the lightbringer would not kill enough troops or would kill the least amount of damage such that my Werner was able to still finish off the Jintoki. Again, my Werner does have double bladed strike, so there is a chance I could kill this Jintoki. But whether I can do that or not is a little sus. But I do have, you know, Legion of Glory buff, so yeah. So instead, I had to just opt to kill the Rosen. And this does act against the Jintoki, but he cannot reach me. Sorry, he cannot reach my uh, Werner. But his air slashes up. So again, see, I've, I'm actually making mistakes here. First with the miscount tile here. And after killing the Rosen, I, you know, basically let my blockade uh, go away. Well, he killed my Sophia too. Okay, so air slash was up. He is, he misses the kill on the Werner. Again, Werner does not have the defense stance, but this damage taken by his 20%, very critical from an earlier Tenio's, Tenio's headdress. So that, pretty, pretty OP. Okay, so now I have turn trial. He, by him coming out and doing this was actually bad for him because I could potentially kill him. I do get a lucky crit. I don't know if the crit would have mattered, but yeah. So I made some mistakes, but he also made that mistake of basically uh, sending out his Shintoki out of guard range. So at this point, I am still up in damage. So, and I can continue staying up in damage because of the fact that I do have Suzette being able to apply a good amount of AOE damage. So it's a matter of just me being able to survive, which is pretty easily done if I just go into defense stance Warner. Yeah, it's a matter, again, matter of just staying alive, trying to do as much damage as possible. Isn't able to one-shot my Suzette. Drop another 3C, just to make sure I can guarantee the damage lead. able to kill his uh, first life so right now I basically have uh, the damage lead and I should be good to go notice that Suzette does lose her tile effects when she dies so this is actually very sad but nonetheless I am able to win not the cleanest game but as you can see you know the mistakes that we both made in terms of uh, position I did get the RNG advantage with that early tenuous proc I was going, I was fishing for a Tenuous proc, and I did plan on basically doing this thing until I get my Tenuous proc. So yeah, lucky win, and uh, able to win off of uh, basically damage. Anyhow, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.